All right, so finally, my setup's all good. I'm able to record in uh, 2K, but this might appear in 1080p, who knows? But now I'm gonna begin Magic the Gathering. Ooh, 2013, a really old game, now defunct. So um, so this is gonna be a little different uh, from usual games because you can't actually beat the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna play the campaign and uh, I'll move this thing out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna play the campaign with all the different decks. And I'm going to go through the opponents in the game. So, for example, we'll start off with uh, Talrand and Garuk, and then uh, Liliana, and so forth, so on and so forth. And uh, eventually, once once we reach the end, we'll go to the revenge campaign. Go in order from left to right, and then I won't be doing this plane chase thing. We will be doing um, free for all, three or four versus yeah, yeah, <laughs> four people free for all. And. Uh, while I'm doing the campaign, I'm going to edit my deck, but then once we reach the Revenge, and once we go to the other one, the Free For All, I'm not going to edit the deck after that. So, this first uh, run through the campaign is just to allow me to edit the deck in a way that I can use it for the for the later um, the later decks, the more difficult uh, battles we're going to have. So, I'm going to choose... So what am I going to do? First, we're going to start off with a easy enough deck to use, so I'll start with the Goblin deck. And from there, I don't actually know how we're going to go. Probably start it... Uh, oh man, yeah, we'll figure out later, don't worry about it. I'll just pick Goblin Gangland for now. <clears throat> so, this is the first opponent. Uh, typically, the game goes pretty quickly. Oh shoot, well, I'm, I'm going to edit that out, obviously, but... Uh, so, uh, I'm not going to touch D-pad because that switches the, um, the play field. I'm going to use the, uh, what these things called, the sticks. I can look up and down if I push up and down on D-pad. We're not going to do that, though. If I push right trigger, I can look at stuff, uh, which sometimes I will because I have a very bad memory. And I seriously don't remember anything about this game. Let me maximize the screen on this thing. I can't even see anything. Okay, there. I don't actually remember if I edited this. Uh, so, anyways, we're not going to use this hand here. We're going to whatever it's called what's it called mulligan and go again so i will probably use this so in case you don't know how you play is you put down one card and you put down a uh, a card that has the equivalent cost or less so what's this let's see uh, no we're gonna go with this one i remember i did this uh last year i think i can attack have haste <clears throat> but I did this last year with all the cards, I mean, with all the different decks, beating all the opponents uh, in all the scenarios I gave out. But I didn't record any of it, because I couldn't, because I had a really bad capture card back in the day. But now I have a really good one, and this is super, super easy and convenient to record with. Uh, let me just check something right now. Let's see. Okay, cool. Alright, nothing bad is going on. Let's see. So I guess I'll show off the card just really quick. Uh, no, this one. Just so we can all see what it does. Oh, I didn't attack. Okay, well, uh, yeah, see, so this is good. This is the beginning. It's not a big deal. I forgot to attack. Oh, well. And with some decks, it is literally impossible to win just by playing the game. Just, just by playing it casually, I guess. Uh, what you need to do for some of these opponents is you need things to happen exactly um, as planned. So we'll get to that later. One really bad deck uh, for this is a what the heck is his name? I don't remember. That's how bad a memory is. Okay, so I'm going to summon uh, this one. And let's see. So there we go. Everyone gets one plus one and we have everyone has haste. So now I can attack with these two. And it's a little confusing because if I use the left on the stick, I can select things to a point. But then if I can't select... Okay, yeah, so I said... Let me uh, cut myself off. So I have the animation set up just because when there's too much stuff on the field, it gets really disorienting. Like, you have no idea what's going on, who attacked who. And so this way, it just lets me see what's going on. But uh, anyways, back to my original thought. Uh, you can use the left stick to select things. But to a certain point, like for example, I can move up here. So in order to move up, I have to push up on the right stick. Weird controls, uh, but it works. Alright, here we go. 
what the heck am I doing? Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, so just in case, uh, you may have noticed that I'm pushing random things for some reason. Like, I just move up for no reason and I'm pushing the A button and it's like, what the heck am I doing up there? So the reason why that happens is because I'm playing with the Xbox One controller. Because I'm playing this on Xbox One. Uh, yeah. And that's one of the side effects of playing with Xbox One is that you have to deal with drift. So if I'm moving up on myself, it's not me. I swear it's not me, it's the controller. But hey, we're doing pretty good for this first level. I don't remember which decks are weak against which, like, it just becomes extremely difficult to win. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I know with the Goblin deck, I had the least difficulty uh, beating everyone. So we're in for a fun time. Alright, let's see. Burger, what is he doing? Let me see. See, like that. I moved up by myself. That was not me. That was the controller right there. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, man. So that's one really annoying thing to have to deal with. Uh, yeah, you can call if you want. I'll just stop right here. What was I doing? I'm gonna continue from here. I could play this. Oh shoot, I hit my mic. I could play this on the uh, Xbox 360. But two there are two problems though with that. Uh, I, I'll explain as soon as I uh, finish my attack here. So one problem is some of these some of these games go on for hours, especially the free for all games. I remember I think one went for like 2 hours possibly. I don't even remember. I remember it went for a long long time. Because um Wait, wait, what is it? Those decks that can summon a bunch of tokens. Oh my gosh. The game lags like crazy. Hey, look, and we won. Yeah, so uh, not that bad. Uh, I guess I'll take a look at the deck since I haven't even uh, seen it yet. I just turned on the game. <laughs> but I don't think I edited it from the last time I played this. Which I have no idea when that was. Okay, let's see. So, the bottom is uh, the cards in my deck. The ones up here are cards that I'm not using. Like, for example, this dude. I'm, not, I'm never going to use that. So, let's go this way. I don't even know why I have this, but I had it apparently, so I'm, it must have been good. I had these because I know this deck can't get rid of any artifacts or spells, so at least it has a, a way to get rid of artifacts. This completely breaks the blue decks. I don't know why I had him. But I do. Let's keep going. This guy. Completely broken card. Completely broken card. Sort of broken. Not really. Let's see what's up here. So I try to minimize it into having only 60 cards, but then... Just, it, I don't know, I had to add more just because sometimes the game was getting too difficult. And this way, it does help, it doesn't help. I mean, but it shouldn't be that bad. We should be able to get through things. Whenever you cast a spell, put the prism. So, this card is a trip. We'll see later what it does. So, the beginning, or how I use it. This card is garbage. From what I know, it's not that worth it. It's not worth it, it's too expensive. This is a decent card. It's not on my deck though for some reason. This is decent in situations. It's this. I had this one at some point, but I guess it's not good enough. Same thing with this one, I guess it's not good enough. And this one costs way too much. Alright, so uh, I guess that's it for the first video. Continue on to the next one uh, as soon as this is done.